This is the latest generation Kindle from Amazon. It comes with a 6 inch display. It also has a global wireless. It uses 3G and you can uh, download books wirelessly through the 3G in over a hundred countries. And it's really nice because you don't have to pay monthly for that. You only have to pay to get the books, you know, the books that you're purchasing, but you don't have to pay for the 3G. So that's nice. Uh, it's pretty light. It's only a, about a third of an inch thick and also you can read it in the sunlight because it, uh, the display that it has reduces glare. So I'm going to power it on and you can see what it looks like when it's powered on. There's a button up here. You just slide it. There we go. There we go. Now I'm going to zoom in on it a little bit. So um, yeah you can see it's powered on. It's black and white. Um, you can, uh, like I said, download books uh, or buy them from pretty much anywhere as long as you have a 3G t connection and that connection is offered free by Amazon. Um, right now I have, you can also download, they have magazines, newspapers. I have the Detroit Free Press on here. And you can just read it. You know, it has the next page, previous page buttons. Uh, it has a lot of other interesting things. For example, um, if you hold the shift and then the uh, symbol key down it'll actually read it to you and this is a new feature it's experimental but it's pretty nice it's kind of annoying but it works I guess bus among bank assets auctioned off by FDIC yeah. by James Sterngold Bloomberg News vertical bracket 620 so that's interesting the financial crisis that popped the, real estate the same thing to turn it off um, let's go back to the home and you can also um, let's take you to the Kindle Shopping Center. It has books, newspapers, magazines, blogs, you know, it has recommended for you. And what's nice is for newspapers and magazines, you can get like a 14 day trial. And for books, you can get like a free sample, you know, and you can download it from pretty much anywhere that you get a wireless or not a Wi Fi connection, but a 3G wireless connection. And that's really nice. Um, so yeah, it has like all the books. Let's pick one. Let's see fiction. The Lost Symbol. Let's click that. Yeah, and you can see the price of the book. It's a uh, nine sixty. The book is thirty dollars normally, but the Kindle price is nine sixty. And you can go down, you know, to try sample. and you hit that and it says yeah it says it's downloading and it'll be on the home page once it's downloaded so let's just go to the home page and it says up there item downloaded and then it updates and you see lost symbol is there and it's kind of a sample of the book you can just you know read through it real quick and just decide if you want to buy this book or not and yeah you can use the next page buttons it's really the screen is really nice for reading it's just like reading a book I really um before I got this, I wasn't enthusiastic about it. I thought it was going to be horrible, but the screen is actually, it's turned me. I never thought you could go from books to reading on a screen easily, but this is just the best I've seen so far. You can also add, like, notes and stuff um, along with it. Or, for example, if you don't know a word, you can scroll to a word. So let me scroll. I mean, I know these words. I'm not stupid, but... Let's scroll to a word over here and let's go to original for example. And then the definition, I'll show, it's scroll to original and then it'll show the definition right there. And it'll say, you know, hit the enter button for more and you can hit the enter button. You know, and it'll go and it'll show you the full, def you know, a full page definition and you can scroll through that. And that's, that's a really nice feature because you can get definitions for things, you know, as you're reading, if you don't know. So let's go back to the home page. Yeah, so it's really nice. It's um, $260, which is kind of a steep price. The other one with the bigger screen, I think it's a 9-inch screen, that's, I think, like $400. So this was the cheaper one. But really, it is, if you're a reader, this is definitely worth it because you get your books cheaper and this is 
so nice to carry around. It's just really, it's a really good device. And the battery lasts for like a week while you're reading. You can read it for like a week straight without charging because of the screen technology that it has. It's just great. And the battery lasts really long. So yeah, I recommend it. Um, like I said, it's, you know, you can download books in over a hundred countries. You know, so if you're overseas, basically any country, unless you're in, like, some really desolate area, you'll be able to download books through the connection that's offered for free by Amazon. Another thing I forgot to mention is, let's go to the menu right here so I can show you real quick. Let's zoom in. You can go to Experimental. And what's really interesting is it has Basic Web. And basically what that means is you can surf the web. <laughs> Now, it's not really the best web browser on earth, but what do you expect? I mean, it's a Kindle, it's black and white, it's meant for reading books, not for browsing the web, but that's still really nice that you can browse the web a little bit. This is CNN, you can see, you know, you can scroll through, click on stories, you can go to Google, you can search things, so it's really nice. It's not the best browsing option, but it's there, and it is experimental, it's not like they're saying it is perfect. So that's, that's a, another really nice fe feature that it has. And yeah, up there it'll have like the battery life and all that. And so that's nice too. So let's, let's turn it off right now and you can see what happens. Is it, um, here, I'll zoom in. And it'll display... A picture so right now it's powering and it powers off and it displays a picture and that's actually powered off it'll show a picture power it back on it goes back now it's powered on power it off again it's another picture so it's nice it's kind of like a screensaver but it doesn't use any battery because it's like the image just stays without it you know it has to use battery to change the image but not to keep it on so that is really nice Yep, and that's the Kindle. Thanks for watching.